Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about we, what we do not yet see. That's Hebrews 11.1. 1. Can't wait to get to that. Good morning for the daily devotionals. Good morning to the chat if you're joining us right now at 7.30 a.m. So glad you're joining us today. If you're getting something out of today, if you're about to, make sure you share it with a friend. Tag them in the comments. Write what your favorite part is and uh, put it in the chat. That's what we say around here all the time. Put it in the chat. Put it in the comments. And we'd love to love to say hello to you this morning. We were running with our daily devotionals this morning. You can get those at watersedgechurch.net forward slash daily devotionals. We are on day one of running with the giants, actually part three, where we were talking about Daniel, Pastor Stu, man, what an, an incredible message um, on Sunday and uh, at our live service. I'm so glad um, that he spoke on Daniel. It's so incredible. And we're going to jump right in to day one here. Running with the Giants is a sermon series about the giants of faith, the men and women that will always be remembered for putting their trust in God. And here's the verse I was talking about. Hebrews 11.1 1 begins with the very definition of faith. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Daniel is not mentioned by name in this list of, of Hebrews 11 of giants, but is identified by the faith that he had in God as he rested in the lion's den. The Bible mentions our need of faith many times. And so we're going to read three, three verses here. Uh, I think you're going to really speak to you, and then we're going to do uh, one more at the end uh, altogether. But we're going to read Hebrews eleven six. So just skip, skipping a couple verses ahead from that from that theme verse from earlier. Uh, Hebrews eleven six says this, and I'm going through my my NIV study, study of Bible here. I hope you can see that uh, we're jumping right in here. Hebrews eleven six, and uh, here goes it says this, and without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. He rewards those who earnestly seek him. Seek him. All right, Ephesians 3, 16 through 17. Ephesians 3, 16 through 17. Don't worry, I'm not actually that fast at finding, my, uh, finding the verses. I had, them, I had them bookmarked already. Hebrews 3, 16 through 17. Now some of you are like, Oh, you didn't have them memorized? No, no. Okay, Jesus, I, I did not have them memorized. Three Hebrew, <laughs> Ephesians 3, 16 through 17 says this. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell. We're going to talk about that. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And there's a little bit more to, to chapter to verse 17 there, but we're going to, we're going to uh, stop right there. I'm going to read it all again. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And that word, that word dwell means completely at home. That's what it's talking about there, that Christ may be completely at home in our hearts, not, not like a foreigner, not like going to some country and visiting for a minute and then leaving, not staying with your, with your grandma or not staying, staying at a relative's house for the weekend. It says completely at home, completely at home, not a foreigner. One more verse here, Second Corinthians 5, 7. Second Corinthians 5, 7 says this, we live by faith, not by sight. Hmm. That's a memory verse for somebody today. We live by faith and not by sight. See, I already got that one memorized. We live by faith and not by sight. We live by faith and not by sight. Do you have faith? Romans 10, 17 says, consequently, faith comes from hearing. We talked about sight a second ago. It doesn't come from sight. Faith comes by hearing, from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word about Christ, the good news, the gospel about Christ. Your faith will grow as you actively engage in hearing God's word. Commit to finding ways and, and time this week to listen to God's word. You got you to gotta listen for it. Faith does not come by sight. Faith does not come by sight sight and we live by faith not by sight you're not gonna you're not gonna gain faith by seeing you're gonna gain faith by hearing 
So set a time, set a time uh, aside some time this week and try to, and try to listen, try to listen to what God has for you, what he's trying to tell you in this season in your life. I'm gonna go ahead and pray for you. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone joining us right now uh, in the chat and later today in the comments, Lord. Uh, we just pray uh, that this uh, permeates in, into the hearts and, and minds that, uh, Lord, we need to set time aside to hear, to hear your voice, to have faith, to increase that as well. Lord, we love you so much. We ask this all in your name. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us, uh, joining me this morning, guys. Just a couple quick things. Tomorrow, we'll be right back here at 7.30 a.m. M and uh, tomorrow I'm really excited uh, because on Tuesdays at 8 15 p.m. right after our live service is growth track and this week is step two it's so good it's all about discovering your purpose and we know that when you live out your purpose you will be filled up as well and you will know that you were made for this you were made to live out your purpose hey if this spoke to you today make sure you share it or whatever your favorite content is this week go ahead and hit the share button and and maybe comment tag a friend in that and hey uh, finally don't miss out on watching a service this week a live service this week don't don't skip that you got to do that every single week you need community and as great as i am live right now with you you won't be able to get nearly as much as our live services offer. It's just, it's just not, not the same. We'd even go so far as to say that it's not even full worship. If you're not doing it together with community, with, with people, and it's not the full extent that Jesus was talking about when he said, don't stop meeting together. That's the challenge. That's the challenge today. Make sure you grab a live service Tuesdays, 7 p.m., Thursdays, 7 p.m., both Eastern Standard Time. And uh, hey, tomorrow, we'll be right back here, 7.30, talking about Daniel, the, actually the name Daniel and what his name means. We'll see you at 7.30 in the morning.